Welcome back. This is lesson number four. Uh, this is what I call Spirograph. It's a, a lot of fun. Kids seem to really enjoy this one. So I'm here at the Scratch site already. I'm going to press Create because we're creating a brand new game today. Come on, Scratch. All right, and I'm going to get rid of the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. We're going to keep the cat today, although for today's lesson, we're going to make the cat invisible. Watch how I do that. So I'm going to press green flag or get green flag. When the green flag is clicked, now I'm going to go to looks. I want the cat to hide. So let's see if the cat hides. Ready? Green flag and yep, the cat is hiding. The cat is still there. It's just invisible. It's hiding. And I got that hide from the looks button right there. Now we're going to need our pen again. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom. I'm going to click on pen extension. Perfect, there's my pen mark. So remember how I did that? I went down to the bottom corner here, I clicked pen, and there's my pen code. So green flag is clicked, hide, pen, down. Perfect, wonderful, so there's that. Now I'm gonna have the cat move a little bit. Let's just test this out to see if it works. Ready, green flag again. Perfect, see the cat is hiding, it's invisible, but it's making a pen mark there. So now look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make the cat start making some neat designs. I'm going to have the cat move 10 steps, turn 15 degrees, and keep hitting the green flag, and it's going to start making a circle. It's great, except I'm getting a sore blister. I'm getting a sore finger from hitting the, the button so much. So I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to put a, a loop around it, maybe a repeat 10 times to see if I can make a nice circle. Okay? So green flag, hide, pen down, move, turn 15 degrees. Move 10 steps, turn 15 degrees. We'll do this 10 times. Let's see if we can get a circle. Oh, almost. But hold on, there's a problem. I don't like that the old pen mark is still there. I want a fresh page every time. So I'm going to go back to pen and get erase all and put it right at the top. Erase everything, hide, pen down, and then do this repeating 10 times. Ready? Green flag end. Oh, not enough. Maybe not 10. I'm going to try, I'm going to try 20. Let's see if that's good enough. Ready? Stop. Green flag. Oh, almost. Maybe 25 or 30. Okay, let's go with 30. Ready? Okay, stop. Green flag. Perfect. So there's a nice circle. So here's the code that made this nice circle. Okay, repeat 30 times. Move 10, turn 15 degrees. Move 10, turn 15 degrees. And it made a nice circle. So I've got a nice circle here. But look what I'm going to do. I'm going to have it make another circle. And then another circle. And then another circle. And another circle. And on and on and on. It's going to make a cool, cool design. Watch how I do that. So... I'm going to go to the motion. I'm going to have the cat move away from this first circle. Move 10 steps away. And then do the whole thing again forever. So put a pick forever loop around this whole thing. So there's the circle. Then he's going to move away. Then he's going to make another circle. Move away and on and on. Ready, green flag and go. Okay, that's not bad. That's kind of a neat design. Look at that. That's kind of cool. But now, my job is to put in all sorts of different numbers. I'm just going to choose random numbers, anything, 22, uh, 54, um, 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 78, uh, 31. I have no idea what's going to happen. Ready? Green flag and go. Oh, that's kind of neat. Look at that. I like that. That's a beautiful design. Teachers, I don't know if the students will remember, but teachers, when we were kids, we used to have those spirographs, and uh, this reminds me of those spirographs, except now we're doing it on a computer. Let me try a different set of numbers, anything. Uh, 22, um, 52, um, 29, and uh, 45. Let's see what happens here. Ready? Green flag and go. Whoa, that's a weird one. Oh, that's kind of neat. Look at that. It looks like a big ball of yarn. Fantastic. Hey, just one problem. If I press stop and start again, the cat might be down here and it'll go off the page. So I think what I'm going to do is at the very beginning, put uh, go to zero, zero. So start off in the middle, zero and zero. The cat just start off in the middle. And let's see if we can do this again. I'm going to try a different set of numbers. 25. Hey, you can put any numbers you want in here, except I wouldn't really go over 180. 
if you go over 180, it kind of just slows the computer down and uh, you won't see anything different. All you need to do is go somewhere between zero and 180. So I'm gonna try um, 35, I'm gonna try 111, I'm gonna try 38. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Ready, green flag and go. Oh, that's kind of neat. Wow, look at that. Okay, if I change just one number, I can get a whole totally different design. I'm gonna change that number. Ready, green flag? Look at that. So, students, now it's your turn. And teachers, I'm gonna to have to ask you to pause in a moment. Students, you're gonna be going to scratch.mit.edu. You're going to click create. You're going to get rid of the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. Look at that nice design. Hey, you're gonna keep the cat today, but remember, you're gonna get the cat to hide. So you're gonna find the hide button, that's in the loop, looks. And you gotta go get the pen extension. Remember, you click down there to find the pen extension. And then you're going to pretty much copy my code today, but instead put your own numbers in an experiment. When you get a cool design, great. Try a new design, new numbers. So today, teachers, the kids are gonna experiment a little bit longer um, before coming back to my next set of code. So. If you could pause now and uh, I'll see you in 5, 10, maybe 15 minutes. All right, I hope you have found some cool patterns. Hey, just look what happens when I hit the green flag. So I've got this nice, I don't know what that is, hexagonal pattern and it starts to overlap. And after a while, I can't see the pattern like right there, and right there, they kind of like blend into each other. So look what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna add a little bit of color. I'm gonna go to the pen code and I'm gonna grab this one that says change pen color right there change pen color and I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna put it way at the bottom so after it does its first hexagonal shape when it moves over it's gonna change the pen color and then when it moves over here change pen color and change pen color and change pen color and so you're gonna see a whole bunch of neat colors that really help the pattern uh, emerge so watch ready green flag and go see blue purple pink red that's nice. Great, okay, so you could put the pen color there. You might also wanna put the pen color here. Let me just put that back. You might wanna try the pen color right in here. So now each of these hexagonal shapes is gonna be a rainbow of colors. So take a look, ready, green flag and look at that. That's kinda of cool. So I prefer down here, you might prefer up there. You have to decide where you like it. I like it down there. But let me just show you one last thing before you head off. See, we've got this plain white backdrop. It's kind of hard to see the colors. So I'm gonna get a better backdrop and usually I let you guys pick whatever you want, but for today, I really suggest you get this one called Stars. It's just a nice plain black backdrop and the colors will pop out nicely. So look at that, it's green flag and look at that. So you might wanna put change pen color here or change pen color there and get a nice stars background. And of course, keep experimenting with those numbers. Put in new numbers, please, and see what kind of cool patterns you can come up with. Okay, teachers, if you could pause it here, and I'll see you in shortly. All right, well, welcome back. Next trick. Okay, look, I'm gonna hit the green flag again, and look at my nice pattern. But do you see that line? It is super thin. I don't like that. I want a bit of a thicker pen so I can see the colors nicer. So I'm just gonna stop for a minute. I'm gonna go back to my pen code right there and I'm gonna set the pen size to something a bit bigger. Right now the pen size is a one. Okay, do you see that? The pen size is one. I'm just gonna put it in here at the top somewhere and I'm gonna set it to something like maybe a three or a four. Now look when I hit the green flag. The colors come through way nicer because the pen is thicker. So you might wanna experiment with setting the pen size, okay? Not changing the pen size, because it's gonna change every time you hit the green flag and pretty soon you'll have a humongous pen, but I would try set pen size to something a bit different and experiment with that. And of course, you're gonna keep putting in new numbers and come up with some cool new designs. So um, teachers, if you wanna pause it here again, and students, your job is to set a pen size so you got a really nice uh, design that pops out in this black background, okay? So I'll see you shortly. Okay, next trick. Um, you might like this one. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of this or not, but some kids really like this. So uh, I'm just gonna stop there, 
And I'm going to go to this one called operators. I don't think we've used operators before. So I'm going to click on operators and I'm going to get this code that says pick random number. Okay, do you see that? So now I'm going to tell a computer to pick a random number between a range of, let's say, whatever you want. So for example, instead of 25 repeats, I could say to the computer, pick a random number between 20 and um, 50, let's say. So I'm going to have the computer pick a random number, 20 to 50, and slide it right in there and it repeats. Now let's see what happens. Ready? Green flag and go. Oh, look at that. It's going in a weird direction. It's going in a random way. You could take that one out and try it somewhere else. Instead of 35 steps, you could say, let's say, I don't know, 10 steps to 100 steps. Let's see what happens there. Ready? Green flag and go. Oh my, look at that weird shape. That's kind of cool, actually. Nice. Hey, by experimenting with random numbers, you, you won't lose your pattern. If you just pull that out, the old number is still there. So not to worry. You won't hurt anything. See, there we go. Back to my normal pattern that I had before. Uh, but I'm going to try one more place. Maybe in the degrees. Instead of 111 degrees, I'm going to say between 45 degrees and 180 degrees. Let's see what happens here. Ready? So uh, green flag again. Whoa, my. That is very strange. Great. Hey, so you can experiment now with pick random number. And um, if you like it, great. If you don't like it, you can always put it back um, to normal. So teachers, I'm going to ask you to pause here. Students are going to experiment with random numbers for a little while. And then we have one last trick that I think you're going to really enjoy. So I'll see you in a few minutes for the last trick. All right. I hope you're enjoying our uh, Spirograph drawing game, our digital drawing game. I've got one last trick for you. And um, it's, it's a bit tricky at first, but I think you're going to like it. So I'm going to put my mouse pointer. See my mouse pointer right there? I'm going to put it right on the cat. Don't hit the garbage can. You'll lose your cat. But I'm going to go on the cat. I'm going to put two fingers on my touchpad or right-click the cat if you have a mouse and duplicate the cat. Now I've got two cats making designs. Look what happens when I hit the green flag. Well, you don't see the second cat because it's right on top of the first cat. They're just going right over top of each other. So I'm just going to change the starting point for this second cat. See, the first cat is at 0, 0. The second cat is at 0, 0. But I'm going to put in a different number. Let's say 100 and 100. I don't know, just some random numbers. So let's see what happens. Ready, green flag, and go. Oh, look at that. So there's two cats making this neat design. That's kind of neat. Look what I'm going to do now. I'm going to duplicate this cat again. So now I've got three cats. This one I'm going to start at negative 100 and negative 100. Now let's see what happens. Ready, green flag and go. Look at that. Whoa, that is kind of cool. Hey, I've had some students duplicate these cats up to 27 times. And for each cat, they've given it different starting spots. Some numbers with positives and some numbers with negatives. And they came up with some really, really cool designs on their page. So for the remainder of this lesson, your job is to continue to experiment with these numbers, of course, and try duplicating the cat maybe two or three times or maybe more and giving each one a random starting spot. Um, again, I wouldn't go over 180 on those random starting spots because it'll be off the page. So, uh, good luck with this. And if you like it, remember, sign in today because you've maybe, hopefully, made an account. And then you can save your game. You just go over here. It says File, and you'll be able to save your game. And you can work on it at home and play with it later. So, I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Uh, the next one's a big favorite of mine. We're going to be doing a dance party. It's a dance game and uh, lots of fun. So have a good rest of your period and I will see you next time. Thank you.